Hey what's up guys welcome to Sam Resolve and today we're jumping into the fusion page and what other way to learn fusion is to be hands on so let's dive in so let's say you're an eSport team and you're located in Kuala Lumpur and you have your logo right here and you have your beautiful city right here and you want to make an animation logo for your eSport team so what you gonna do so first, we're going to drag and drop our footage right here. And we're going to right click our clip. And we're going to click open in Fusion page. And it's going to take us right to the Fusion page and with our clip right here. And the other way is to just to place our playhead right above our clip and just click the fusion page that is it so right here we can see our beautiful view and we have this thing right here it's called nodes and we, and we got media in and media out right here and what is media in so when you go right here, we click on this viewer. You can see there's two rectangles right here. We click on it and it's kind of become like this. Drag and drop media in in this viewer. And we can see media in is this. And media out is this. We can identify them by the, the white circles, the white dot over here. You can see this is at the second screen and this is the first screen. And they're basically the same right now because we have nothing in between. What this means basically is that we have our footage right here, media in one, and we have our media out. And media in is our clip and media out is everything in between and upward over here. So let's give it an example. We can move our mouse right here and we can see this is a blur. We can click and drop right here in our workspace. Let's just call this a workspace, okay? So how Fusion work is like a pipeline, okay? So we got media in and if you notice, this thing is actually an arrow. Media in, arrow, media out. So this also means media in goes straight to media out and we're gonna put blur right in between like this so you think that's it no actually not because blur is not actually connect to the line right here but we can drag blur and hold down shift button and you can see the line changes its color and we can just drop it in there and now you can see blur is actually connected to the line when you wiggle it like this now we can change the settings of the blur right here just pull it up and down we can do that because our media is connected to the blur and then connected to our media output so if we disconnect this our blur will not affect our media in because it goes straight to media out and then no matter how much we change right here and they are still not connected unless we put them back here like this now it's blur again All right now we want to add a little bit of blur right here and right now we can input our logo right here we can just drag and drop into our workspace and right here media 2 and we can open the split screen right here we can drag and drop these right over here and we can see our media into is at our left view and our media out is at our right view so if you want to connect this we're gonna need a merge node so what is a merge node right here this is a merge node we can drag and drop right over here and it says merge one we're gonna drag and hold shift drag it and drop it over here and we can see our media in 
is connected to the merge node and then the merge node is connected to the blur and we connect that to the media out so it is a pipeline remember so if we hover our mouse right here to the green tiny green arrow and we can see it says foreground and the yellow arrow is the background so we can plug this little square right here it says output we can drag this and put it at the foreground of the merge node and right there there you go we have our logo right above our image so right now the logo is a little bit too big so we want to change the size of this we can use a transform node which is right here and drag and drop straight to the line between our media in and our merge node see it's connected we can change the settings you can change the size of our logo right here we can get rid our left view for the moment like this let's move this blur node right before our logo so that it only affects our background and not our logo and why that is because our media in is going into blur and our blur is going into the background of the merge node and our media too is at the foreground so our foreground is not affected by the blur so right now we want to add text text is over here we can drag and drop our text right here and then we can drag the output and straight away to the output right here and you will automatically create a merge node for our text and then right here we see nothing because there's nothing in our text right here we can type in let's say my esport team is unicorn and then we're gonna change the layout we're gonna put this unicorn right here and let's pick a nice font for our logo oh this looks nice agency fb unicorn we can also change the name of the notes let's just say this rename or just simply hit f2 and change it to unicorn and then we have this f2 this is our logo and click this f2 and this is our background right we need another text we can copy and paste this right here and then we can merge it again right over here we can tidy up our nodes a little bit background blur this is our logo and this is our text put our text right here we can have our, our text spread out like a Y. We just need to keep track of where is the background and where is the foreground. And then we can give this a name. Let's call this unicorn mascot. So let's play it back. Okay, we can see it is a little bit dry. And now we want to add some animation to our text and how we're gonna do it so right here we can go right here everything that has a diamond beside it we can set the keyframe to animate them so let's animate this unicorn first click on the node go to layout and then we wanna have this start from the middle and then let's go to our first frame see right here frame zero click on the diamond to set a keyframe and then go to maybe have it frame 20 and our frame 20 we wanna set another keyframe and then we want it to be here 
Okay, that's cool. And let's do the same for our unicorn one. Let's rename this mascot. Let's do the same for our mascot. Go to frame zero, layout, set a keyframe, move it to the center. And then we can go to frame 20. We can just type in here frame 20. Or we can go back to unicorn and then click on this little arrow right here and it will bring us to the next keyframe which is also frame 20. Go back to our mascot, set a new keyframe and then we're gonna give it a new position around here. And then we can play it back from frame 0, see how it looks. Okay. Looks pretty nice. Okay, right here, I want my text to appear right behind my unicorn. So what should I do? I'm going to need my text to be at the background of my unicorn. So I'm going to have to change the order of my merge notes. I can highlight this and then we can hold them. We can wiggle them around and right when we press shift, they're going to disconnect. I'm going to move them to right after the merge node for our text and we're going to release our unicorn mascot is now at the background at the background of our logo we can make them look a little bit nicer right here and play back unicorn mascot unicorn mascot so let's say right at frame zero maybe our text is a little bit bigger than the logo so what should we do so when our text is bigger than our logo it's gonna look like they're just coming out of right behind the logo right that is where our masking comes in we can add mask to our text so that it doesn't look like it's appearing like it's hiding at right behind our unicorn right so I can add a mask right here there's a mask I can drag and drop our mask right here it's a rectangle mask and then we can connect our mask to the unicorn and you can hover your mouse right at the blue arrow right here it says effect mask so for every node if there is a blue arrow right there that means you can put a mask on the node so what mask do is it's gonna limit where the node function so everything is inside the mask will show and everything outside the mask will not show so that's what masking is so right now we want our unicorn to appear just right here and we can shrink the mask right down here let's play it back and we can pay attention to over here unicorn is okay where yeah, that looks kind of that looks pretty good and we're gonna do the same for our mascot we can copy the mask select our mascot and just control v and it's gonna connect it automatically and we're gonna move this mask right to where it belongs over here mascot so when we play back It's gonna look like this. Awesome. So right now you can see the word just come to a stop in a sudden. And we can change this in our spline tool. And you can see right here this there are two displacement. We can select them. We can see both of the displacement. We can click right here at the zoom to fit. You can see it's move up and to a sudden stop. So what we can do is we can select this and then we can go down here, smooth, click on smooth and you will see it moves up and it slowly stops. All right, we can do the same for our unicorn displacement. You can see right here when it comes to a stop, it's kind of it kind of slowed down a little bit so right now we'll go back to the edit page 
Let's play it back from the edit page. We can see the effects right here. And then we can trim this down to only the animation part. I'm gonna clean back. And there we go. So just a quick recap. We got our media in right here and it basically it works like a pipeline so the background is connected to the blur and the blur is connected to another merge node and another merge node and to our media out and on our first merge node we have our text right here unicorn mascot and we have mask for every text right here and all merge to the timeline from right here and right here we have our logo so background to blur background to blur to our text to our logo to media out all right guys that's fusion basics so basically in basics you're gonna play with splines all along and we can do layers effects you can do a lot of things in fusion so yeah guys that's it for the video i hope you guys like it and if you do you may also enjoy my next video which i talk about the basic of Fairlight. And I'll see you guys in my next video.